Okay, so we've got another trophy list for you today, and today's list is Laku 13. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. 167 Platinums, and I can already tell some of these are going to be absolute bangers. But before we jump in, I just want to quickly say thank you to everybody for all the continued love, support, and most of all, patience. And also a massive thank you to the two channel members who are appearing on screen right now. Uh, let's get into this list then. So the first game is 60 seconds re-atomized. 3.96% um, on that. I'm not 100% sure on the game, but I believe you have 60 seconds per run to figure out different things in like a post-nuclear uh, war or something like that. Could be completely wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what the game is. The next one up, we've got seven days to die. Not my cup of tea. Um, like a zombie survival game if I remember right I'm pretty sure I've got this on Steam uh, I played it for like an hour with my brother years in the past and I just was like nope this this isn't for me uh, not saying it's a bad game but 0.92% on that 5 out of 10 50 hours so fair F in play we then got Alan Wake and Alan Wake 2 higher percentages is... put my teeth back in higher percentages than I would have thought uh, especially Alan Wake 2, like that's such a high percentage rating. Um, but 7.73 on the DLC, so fair play. <clears throat> Just clearing my throat. Uh, Apathian, or Apophian, 5.9%. Uh, nice. We then got Arcade, Miss Pac Man, and Arcade Pac Man. Uh, both just a couple of hours each. Uh, Miss Pac Man took four years and one month, so obviously something that you went back to. Uh, we then got Assassin's Creed Odyssey, 3 out of 10, 70 hours, very nice. Astro's Playroom, fair play, everyone should have this one by now. We've then got Battlefield 1, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline, so fair play. 6.45%, 0.86% on the DLC, a 2.75% on uh, Battlefield 3. Potentially because it's the PS3 edition, but you got 0.92% on the DLC. And then Battlefield 4, 5.96 and 0.63% on the DLC. Uh, Battlefield Hardline, <clears throat> that's 4.6%, but you haven't done the DLC on that one. And I'm going to guess just because Battlefield Hardline was a poor addition to the Battlefield games, I'm going to take a guess. Uh, we then got Bioshock 1 and Bioshock 2, which everyone loves to see. Bioshock is just a goated game. No ifs or buts about it. Uh, Bioshock on PS3, so very nice. 7.95%, 1.71% 1 completion of the DLC. I can see that you did that this year as well, only uh, just over a month ago, so nice. Um, Bloodborne. I... I considered and considered and considered doing this for my hundredth platinum. I I don't think that's going to be the case. I'm I'm quite close to my hundredth platinum now. I just ha don't have the time to sink my teeth into a game where I know I'm going to die a ton. Like I want to play games that are difficult. I want to play games that are longer, longer uh, platinum journeys. I just I haven't got the time to play something that's going to take me a while and I'm going to die a lot. Um, but fair play, 7 out of 10 difficulty, 50 hours. Very, very nice. Uh, you then got Borderlands on the PS3, 15.7% uh, platinum on that. Uh, Broken Age, 5.7%. I'm pretty sure I saw this on a previous list and I clicked it to... Uh, to open a new page so I can remember to go back to it and I don't think I did but today I will remember I'm more awake um, Burnout Paradise next very nice 18.38% uh, not not the hardest but I think um, probably the only trophy that would be an issue unless the servers are still booming I don't know but I know that when I played this in the past I struggled to get the eight people into the uh, baseball stadium. I believe that's one of the trophies. Um, 
Moving on, we got Call of Duty Classic. Nice. You don't see that too often. 8 out of 10, 20 hours. Surprisingly, it's a 10.87%, but still very nice. We then got Black Ops 3.65 and the DLC 0.43%. Uh, Black Ops 4. Uh, mate, okay. 0.56% and the DLC 0.31%. A 7 out of 10, 150 hours. This this Call of Duty, Black Ops 4, is probably the, the Call of Duty that I played the most. At, like when it was released, I've, I've played every single Call of Duty, but Black Ops 4, I for some reason, I just loved it. Loved the blackouts, loved the multiplayer. I don't think I loved the zombies as much as some of the others. Um, but, actually, did it even have zombies? It was that long ago now, I can't even remember. Um, yes, it is, because one of my rarest trophies is from the Black Ops 4 uh, zombies. Anyway, I digress. The Platinum. Mate, that is impressive. Nice to see. It involves a hell of a lot. Um, so, fair play. Uh, we then got two lots of Black Ops Cold War, uh, both platinumed on in July 2022. I don't, I don't know if that's going to be like partial auto pop or anything like that. But <clears throat> again, fair play. Um, Black Ops Free as well, very very nice. I don't know what's going on with my throat. Like it's not bad. It's not. It just keeps going croggy. Like I need to clear my throat. I might have to. I might have to make a cut and just be like, Ugh! Anywho, Black Ops 3, 0.78%, 8 out of 10, 100 hour. Very nice DLC as well, 0.21%. Uh, Modern Warfare, 6.6. .6. The one missing trophy, which I'm pretty sure that's a problem that a lot of people have because it's like bugged or something. Uh, Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered, very nice. Uh, Modern Warfare Remastered. 8.85%. Uh, World at War. Ooh, very nice. PS3, 6%, 2.14% DLC. I didn't do the DLC, but I did platinum this game on my old account. And this game will forever be stuck in my head for two reasons. The Granada spam and the part with the sniper. Because I remember doing it on Veteran and it took me so long well it took me so long to, to continue failing i turned it off went back to it like a week later and did it on my first run i don't know whether that was just because i'm awful at sniping or whether it was just you know kind of like beginner's luck because i went back to it uh we've got world war 2 as well 1.4 percent 0.24 percent on that for the dlc very very nice uh okay <clears throat> clearing the throat there we go Castlevania Lords of Shadow, 9.95%, 2.53% on the DLC. Castlevania games are just goaded. Um, actually surprised that uh, I don't see too many of them. I know they're on the more difficult side, but I'm still surprised that we don't see them more often. Uh, Chivalry 2 next, very nice, 4.02% on that. Conan Exiles. 19.15%, uh, a 7 out of 10 difficulty, 50 hours. We've then got Control. I think I've said it about 70,000 times by now. One of the greatest games ever made. Um, well, not ever made, but it's a fantastic game. We've then got Crash Bandicoot. 1, 2, 3, and Goated 4. Mate, this is... I, 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 I can't do any of the Crash Bandicoots. Platforming is not my style, um, but such low percentages but i'm more than anything pointing out number four 3.52 percent a nine out of ten hundred hour fair effing play we then move on to dark souls 3 very nice uh days gone as well not the hardest of games days gone but one that's very much like marmite i've met a lot of people that love it a lot of people that hate it and me because i'm weird i'm dead dead bang in the middle i enjoyed it but not that much um dead island next nice 5.57 percent on that and then riptide as well 10.63 percent 
They then got two stacks of Dead Nation, the PS4 version and the PS3. Surprisingly, the PS4 version is the lower percentage, a 2.63%, 7 out of 10 difficulty. Uh, we then got Dead Space, the OG Dead Space, Dead Space 2 and Dead Space 3. Very, very, very nice. Weirdly enough, again, Dead Space 2 considered the hardest of them all, 9 out of 10 has a 6.36%, whereas Dead Space 3, which is only a 5 out of 10, has a 4.08, so a rarer platinum, uh, according to uh, PSMP at least. Um, Deadly Premonition, the director's cut, if you watched the last video, I, I said something about me remembering it from the PS2, I was wrong, I remembered it from the PS3, because I found my old case for it, uh, I don't know what happened to the disc because it was empty. And that is very unlike me because I like to keep all my stuff together. Um, but yeah, 12.03% uh, on that. 3 out of 10 difficulty with 40 hours. Uh, we then got Deathloop. N nice. I, I personally couldn't get into it. I tried three times when I first brought the game. I went back to it a couple of months later. And then I tried again once I was uh, actively trophy hunting myself. Just couldn't get into it. I'm not saying it's a bad game, just it's not a game for me. Uh, Demon Souls next. I mean, one in every five people have got this platinum. I know a, a, a very close friend of mine is currently working on it. I, I'm i not even going to attempt it. I don't think I could do it. Souls likes and me just do not mix. Uh, Destruction All Stars next. Very nice. I believe this platinum is no longer obtainable because the game's just a mess. Uh, been abandoned by the uh, dev team but 1.44% on that so absolutely beautiful Detroit Become Human very nice then we move on to Dirt 4, Dirt 5 uh, Dirt 4 on PS4 5.01% 5 out of 10 difficulty and took you 70 hours so beautiful um, we then got Drive Club and I've just noticed how disgusting this is 23% complete but that includes the platinum that is the most disgusting thing I've seen because of the how many DLC trophies there is I've, no that's that's horrible fair play on getting the platinum you know you, you did your part but the fact that they put so many trophies beyond DLC is disgusting <laughs> We then move on to Dust and Elysian Tale. I I know I own this game uh, digitally. I think it was one of the early PS Plus games, um, but I don't actually know what the game is. Um, it's an 8.81%, 4 out of 10, took 20 hours, so nice re either way. We then got Dying Light, very nice. I won't tell you about the bugged trophy that stopped me from getting it, but you've got it, 6.28%. Uh, platinum difficulty, uh, rarity rather. Uh, we then move on to Elden Ring, very, very nice. One that is just getting higher and higher. I can't believe that a Souls game as as big and as amazing as Elden Ring is 38.66% now. I'm guessing it's just going to keep getting higher as well. Uh, Energy Cycle, we'll just move on. Uh, Enslaved Odyssey to the West not a clue i know it's a ps3 title i knew that before i looked at the ps3 tag um because i picked this up in at a games fair the other day uh but 10.82 percent on that and the dlc 2.81 percent very very nice uh e for one nice uh four guys uh 12th of september so i'm guessing that was after they made it um considerably easier um again you know, I could be wrong. I probably am. I'm wrong most of the time. But that's considered a 10 out of 10 difficulty. We've then got Flame Over. 7 out of 10 difficulty. A 0.81% on that. So that is very, very rare and very, very nice. We've then got Flat Out 4. I believe this is a racing game. Could be wrong. Uh, but 2.52% on this one. So also very, very nice. We then got Foot Honor. First time I think I've ever seen this on anybody's list. 
and I've got a very um, poor experience of For Honor. I played it when it first came out, and I believe I was playing it on Xbox at the time. And I just remember um, playing it with a few of my mates, and like they, they were all better than me. That's not the reason why I had a negative experience. The negative ex experience was just like, I just got battered by absolutely everybody, every single game. And then like, I just, I, I went away and then I heard it got really good. But, yeah, that, that always left a sour taste in my mouth. But you've got the platinum on that 2.57%, so beautiful. <clears throat> Sorry about the uh, clearing of the throat. We then got Gauntlet, uh, sorry, Game of Thrones, I'm nearly skipping games here. Uh, Game of Thrones, the Telltale game, so nice. Then got Gauntlet, second list in a row that I've seen this on. I actually put this into my cart on uh, the PlayStation Store the other day, and then I looked into the trophy list and I was like, nope. Um, but yeah, 2.13% on that, six out, 6 out of 10 difficulty, roughly 50 hours, according to the guide. Then got the OG God of War, God of the remake or reboot of God of War, God of War 2, God of War 3, God of War Ragnarok, God of War Ascension, Chains of Olympus, and Ghosts of Sparta. So very nice on all of those. Just pointing out God of War Ascension because it's the uh, rarest one. 13.2% beautiful stuff. We then got Gran Turismo 6. Again, I think this might be the first time that I've seen this on a list. Uh, the PS3 uh, version. I think there is a PS4 version. I could be wrong. 6.01% on that. 5 out of 10, 45 hours. Beautiful. Then got Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Uh, San Andreas is quite high at 11.98, but Grand Theft Auto 5 on the PS3, 1.62%. You love to see it. We then got Grin Fandango, considered a fairly simple platinum. Uh, one in five people have got it with a 20.5%. Uh, then we got Hades, absolutely amazing game. Such like it says 50 hours, but I'm pretty sure I put more than 50 hours into it, and I I wasn't anywhere near the platinum. Uh, I mean, this was before I was trophy hunting, but still. Uh, we then got hardware. Rivals, I have no idea. Hitman Contacts, I've never seen that before. Uh, PS3, 10.9. Actually, let's just go back to Hardware hardware Rivals, because it's a 2.5%. I feel like I just skipped past that, and, you know, such a rare platinum. It's got to be called out, so fair play. Hitman Contracts, I've never seen. PS3, 10.93% on that. Um... Like, I know the Hitman games, I know what they are, but I've never seen contacts, contracts before. Uh, Horizon Forbidden West and Zero Dawn. I've, I think I've said before, I've got Zero Dawn myself, Forbidden West. I put it on and I just couldn't get into it. Um, Hot Wheels Unleashed, nice, 6.96% uh, on that, and the DLC for 2.04%. Infamous First Light and Second Sun. Uh, goated games you know i'd love for them to make a new one in truth uh, but i don't think it's going to happen at least not anytime soon it takes two very nice quite a high percentage i think that one's definitely rising as well uh, we then got jack and daxa and jack 2 uh, both quite high percentages but they are just classics uh, just cause 2 and just cause 3 so 4.76% on number 2, 2.98% 2 on Just Cause 3, and 1.01 1 .01 on the DLC as well. 80 hours and 90 hours. You love to see it. We then got Killing Floor 2. Even though it's quite a rare platinum, or rare-ish, I actually don't think it's that difficult of a platinum. I mean, of course I would say that because it's a platinum that I have, and as I always say to anybody... If I can get the Platinum, then anyone can get the Platinum. Um, but, you know, fair play. I, I, I think it's a fantastic game for, for what it is. Uh, then we got Lies of P. Goated. I'm very shocked that that percentage is so high. 
it's one that I'm waiting to come down a little bit on price uh, before I pick it up. I know it's a Souls-like game, and I've, as I've said like earlier in this video, I suck at Souls-likes, but I at least like to give them a try. Um, Life is Strange next. Uh, yeah, beautiful. Uh, Lords of the Fallen, 4.12% on that. 5 out of 10 difficulty, 40 hours. Um, and then Lords of the Fallen on PS5 as well. I'm guessing... Was was this one like a remake or... I don't know. But fair play, regardless. Uh, Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Very nice. 2 out of 10 difficulty, 16 hours. So uh, one that I probably should be looking at myself. But it, even though it was about a year ago that I played the original... Uh, original, the... It's basically Spider-Man Remastered PS4. It wasn't the remastered version, but you, you know what I'm on about. Uh, it's still too soon for me. I, I know that I'll jump into it and I'll be like, oh, I've got to do these again. Uh, Medieval Remake. Nice. Metro 2033 Redux. Very nice. Uh, Metro Exodus. 7.48%. Uh, 1.37% 1 on the DLC. I got this, I think it was day one. And because I, I do like the metros, um, I've never platinumed any of them, uh, or I've never attempted to platinum any of them. But I brought Exodus the day it came out, and it was such a buggy mess. Honestly, like I, I think the, the straw that broke the camel's back. I went underground at one section. I was low on I was low on health, and there was a gate, so I closed the gate because there was like dogs and enemies running at me. And they just like glitched through the wall and I died. And I was just like, oh, forget this then. I turned it off. I never went back. Uh, Minecraft next. All 127 trophies. 12.51%. Uh, 0.67% uh, uh, on the DLC. Very, very nice. We then got Mirror's Edge for the PS3. 2.73%. 0.67% on the DLC. Uh, then got Monster Energy Supercross, 7.47% on that one. So, beautiful stuff. We then got Mortal Kombat X, 1.37% and the DLC, 0.86%. Uh, if I remember right, Mortal Kombat X is the one where you have to do all the tutorials and like some of the um, combos that you have to like replicate are very difficult. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. Uh, Motorstorm Apocalypse for the PS3, 4.74%. So that one is also very nice. Uh, my name is Mayo. I mean, at this point, you've, you've got to start questioning who is the 5.32% that haven't got the Platinum. That have started the game, at least. I've never started the game. I am... I, I don't want to ever touch it, but at the same time... I'm getting a little bit itchy. I, I could, you know, I got FOMO. Could be missing out on an absolute gem. Uh, need for speed. <coughs> need for speed payback. Six point two three percent on that one. Two point eighteen percent DLC. Then this one. No, I know Neverwinter. I played this. I think it was on Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty. I could be completely wrong because my memory is absolutely awful. And if you know, like, if you've watched any of my very, very early videos, you will understand why because I did explain it all. But my my memory is just almost non-existent of like past. Neverwinter. I know I definitely played it on Xbox, and I know that it was either the 360. Or it must have been, or it could have been like the Xbox One when it first came out, um, and I played it for about ten hours, and I was just like, "What am I doing with myself? This is awful." Now, I'm not saying the game's awful, but at, at that moment in time, that's that's how I felt. But I do know that this platinum trophy, from what I've seen and heard, is like a thirteen hundred hour platinum. So, you can see why it's a 0.58% and fair play on this one. 
Uh, Oli Oli World next, 1.21% on that. And Oli Oli 2, 0.65%. I didn't even know there was a second game, but fair play. I mean, Platinum in 7 years and 3 months suggests that it at least came out in 2015. Um, but yeah, fair play. Orcs, uh, put my teeth back in for the second time. Orc Slayer. Uh, I mean, it's a very high percentage, but it looks like it's not a simple uh, turn it on and get the platinum. Uh, Prototype 2, absolutely amazing game back in the PS3 days. 21.58%. We then got a stack of Ratchet and Clank. So we've got PS4 Ratchet and Clank, PS3 Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank 2, Going Commando. Ratchet and Clank 3, Up Your Arse, and all. Ratchet and Clank, A Cracking Time. Ratchet and Clank, All for One. Ratchet and Clank, Full Frontal Assault. Into the Nexus and Rift Apart. Uh, I mean, fair play on all of those. Some of them I've never even heard of, in truth. Um, but you know very 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 nice just want to point out all for one because 8.83 percent is quite a low percentage um the rest are as you would expect really rift apart specifically um i mean that's gone up even more since the last time i looked at it but one in every two people have got that platinum now it's just it's just madness um, well, I guess it's not. I'm on a site that only calculates percentages by people who actually chase Platinums. And it's a good game, and it's a pretty simple Platinum. So I, I shouldn't be really surprised anymore. Uh, Red, Red Dead Redemption, PS3 edition, 2.99%, 0.74% on that. Very nice. Uh, we then got Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3, Village. Uh, yep, yeah, very nice. No, none of them are really like super rare, but they are still goated games. Returnal, same again, not super rare, 12.61%. You have done the DLC as well. That's nice to see. For me, Returnal, the RNG trophies just put me off. Uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider next, 5.92%, 1.81% DLC. Rocket League. 17.54%, uh, 1.36% DLC on that one as well. Uh, Saints Row, Get Out of Hell, Gat Out of Hell, 8.83%. So very, very nice. We then got Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice. Um, again, 28.34% uh, suggests that it's very doable, but because it's uh, Souls-like, not for me, mate, but fair play to you. <clears throat> I'm really sorry. Like, I don't know why. My, fr my throat doesn't hurt, but I just keep ne needing to clear it today. Um, okay, so where was we? Shadow of the Tomb Raider, 10.47%, 2.83% on the DLC. We've then got Skate 3. Holy shit. And you've literally done it this year. The last I heard was that the servers were down but you could get like a team of people or, or something like that like to put the server up briefly either way ps3 1.5 percent 0.7 percent dlc as well superb platinum trophy that is I've, i think i've only ever seen three people with this platinum um so yeah fair play we then got four lots of uh, Sly Cooper. Uh, the are they? I'm pretty sure there's only three games, but there's four there. What am I missing? Band of Thieves, Honor Among Thieves, uh, Sly Cooper and the Thievius Raccoonus, and Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Either way, you've got all four of them. All all of them on the PS3, so very very nice. Uh, slide, uh, yep. Sniper Elite 3. 3.66%, 1.61% on that DLC. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. And then Sniper Elite 4, 3.01%, 0.74% DLC. Very, very, very nice. 
Sniper Elite is actually one that I've been looking into. Um, but I think it was number two. Might have been number three. Like, you can play it co-op. But what, what puts me off is when only the host gets the platinum. Uh, gets the trophy. Like, it just doesn't make sense why games do that sometimes. Uh, but it is what it is. Um, Spy Chameleon next on the PS4 or potentially the PS Vita. 10.39%. Nice. Uh, square boy vs bullies it's a very very high percentage but took you 8 hours and 5 minutes so it's worth mentioning Stella Blade flipping hell that's quite a high percentage I mean the game does look phenomenal I haven't played it personally probably won't um, because it just looked pretty difficult to me uh, but I'm sure that other people will say that it's pretty simple. Um, we've then got Stories, The Path of Destinies. I have no idea what that is. Stranded Deep, PS4, 6.69% on that. Looks like it was done legit as well. Took you two years and a month. Uh, Strider, a PS4 edition, 5.48%. I mean, this this Strider game looks phenomenal. Like I've 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 seen gameplay of it. I know I own it digitally because I think, again, similar to something I mentioned earlier, pretty sure it was one of the first games that I had through PS Plus. I want to I want to give it a go. I just haven't, haven't got around to it as of yet. Uh, Sticks Master of Shadows, 2.31% on that one. So very, very nice. We've then got, and, and I did notice this near the top of the page, fair effing play on this one. Obviously, my, my plug-in decides to stop working after 100 hours for some reason but i do know that this one is phenomenal the binding of isaac rebirth 4.12 percent which is quite sickening uh, but the dlc as well 0.45 percent so that comes off uh, i'll take about and curtsy absolutely phenomenal platinum uh the callisto protocol <clears throat> next yeah I mean, I thought the game was okay, pretty, pretty mid, to be honest, um, but fair play, I'm getting the Platinum. Uh, the Forest, again, and also, put my teeth back in for the third time. I need to get better at speaking in front of, uh, well, just speaking in general. I'm, I'm like this when I'm at work and when I'm with my friends, I'll just blab and then I'll say something completely incorrect. But yeah, the forest, I actually put this into my cart uh, about a week ago. Um, I didn't buy it. It's now no longer on sale, so I probably won't buy it until it's back on sale at least. 3.53% uh, on that one, so very, very nice. Um, hoping that the uh, sequel comes to PlayStation at some point. Uh, the quarry next surprised that that's quite a low percentage because i do see it everywhere but 10.39 percent on that one we then got thief on ps3 3.02 percent that is very 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 nice uh this war of mine the little ones 5.34 percent on that we then got tomb raider 4.73 on the ps3 very very nice uh transistor I, I'm not going to lie, I have no idea. I've seen it a couple of times, but I don't actually know what it is, so I'll, I'll open that one up for a later time. But that's 9.89% as well. Uh, Trying 2, the complete story, took you 9 years and 1 month. So, fair play. I'm guessing that was going back to it. But 2.79% on that, so very, very nice. We've then got... Um, I'm guessing all of the Uncharted's, uh, so beautiful, beautiful stuff. Uh, Thief Send being the rarest of them all, 9.15%. Uh, Until Dawn now, 16.26%. That one's gone up massively recently. I'm guessing with uh, the remake coming out, but from what I've heard, the remake is absolutely trash. Um, Vampire Survivors, fast approaching that one in every two on 42.35 percent i still remember when it was like one percent and i had it so gutted um we then got wolfenstein the new order and the old blood so lovely stuff 
As always, we'll go up to the milestones. <clears throat> and before we get to these milestones, I apologize for the amount of times I've cleared my throat. I don't know what's going on, but it's not because it's bad. My throat feels fine. I feel like I could sing at this moment in time. I'm not going to because I don't want uh, all your monitors and windows to uh, break. But okay, so first platinum was Motorstorm Apocalypse. Your 10th platinum was Enslaved Odyssey to the West. Your 20th platinum was Dust and Elysian Tale. Uh, 30th platinum was Apophian. 40th platinum was Battlefield Hardline. 50th platinum was Spy Chameleon. Uh, 75th platinum was Astro's Playroom. 100th platinum was Jack 2. 125th platinum was Oli Oli World. And then your 150th platinum was Ratchet and Clank All in One. With your latest platinum being Horizon Forbidden West. So, fair play. Let's just have a look at the rarest trophy. So, as I said at the start, Call of Duty 4. 0.56% on that Platinum. Disgusting. Master of the Realm, Neverwinter, 0.58. Then a couple of golds for Oli Oli 2 before the Oli Oli 2 Platinum. Um, I, I was literally just about to say, how can, they, how can gold trophies be rarer than the Platinum? But they're all 0.65%. So fair play on those. And, I mean, why not? In the trophy cabinet, standing alone, the Reaper... Uh, the Binding of Isaac Rebirth Gold Trophy for Dear God. Why not? But yeah, absolutely fantastic list, Laku. And thank you for submitting it. Like, seriously, like, that was a, a really great list to go through. Some absolute bangers. Um, and yeah, anything that you want to uh, let me know about, just leave it down in the comments below. And thank you to everyone else for watching. And don't forget, if you want your list to be reviewed in the distant future, because the list is like exceedingly large at this point, uh, leave your name down below and just be patient, please. Thank you very much. See you later.